All right, I'm here with the boys, Wildcat Legends, Reese Vague, Rice Cotton, you know who they are. Um, first of all, how you guys been finding them today? Yeah, man, this has been pretty dope. Uh, I came in around probably right before noon, and it seemed like it was like a peak hour, but I'm just blown away by it, and this is amazing, I think, for the city of Perth. You don't really see stuff like this, so for this to be its uh, first event and get the, I guess, the amount of people to show up, I'm, I'm very impressed, man. Yeah, it, it was real cool to get here at 10 o'clock. That's when I thought Bryce was getting here, but apparently not. But no, just to see how many people were there at 10 a.m. was incredible. And it's just a testament to how much work the boys have put in for this event. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, with, so Sneakerland, the event we're all been watching coming up, coronavirus, you know, pushed it back a little, but... I, I mean, a conversation's got to be had. Hats off to Jamal and Tom for putting together that just for the culture. This is definitely unheard of in this city. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, they've been working so hard for this. And I think the fact that COVID, you know, pushed it back a couple of weeks, that ended up being a blessing in disguise for them. You know, they had more time to get more advertisements out there, get more sponsors. And when you look at to see what it turned into, uh, I think they're quite happy it got pushed back. That's a fact. Yeah, and it meant I could actually be here for it too because I was talking about July 9th and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah. July 31st is perfect for me, so I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, and adding on to that too, I can actually walk without a limp now, so a few weeks back I might have still had my cane. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So if we jump into sneakers, uh, you know, if we're following you on social media, but we see that you're, you're getting into that a little more. Has that always been a thing or is that a new thing? And then obviously with Reese, we're going to hear about you as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously my man Reese, yeah, he always he always been a sneakerhead and all that. I'm kind of new to it, but uh, you know, I'm loving it. I'm trying new things. You know, I'm wearing these loud Jordans, bright red, this crazy sweater. You know, shout out Jamal, but um, I'm loving this this whole new wave, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep riding this wave. Yeah, Bryce is definitely getting more into it from what I've seen. Still got a long way to go, but he's getting there. Yeah, no, it's, it's kudos to him to actually wearing baggy clothes now, like skin tight jeans and all that. But, no, love to see it. So, what's your favorite sneakers, Reese? Oh, what? my favorite sneakers right now are the Nike Surprise, like the, the first ones or the second ones. But, um, so I've been rocking them. Got a, three pairs of them. Yeah. So I got some beaters and then and some on ice. So yeah, probably the Nike Sakai's right now. Yeah, so you're collecting, right? You're not just wearing shoes. You're oh, also there collecting your own little personal. I'm always gonna wear them. Like I always buy them to wear them, but uh, it's when I wear them. So mm -hmm. like I'll have them on ice for a little while, but then eventually they, they're always gonna come out. So that's the thing, right? People talk about it all the time. Like you're gonna wear these. You're yeah. just gonna let them sit like on ice. Yeah. Like but being hoopers, like. We wear our shoes, so it's kind of just ingrained in the Hooper culture just to actually wear your shoes rather than buying them. But no disrespect to anyone that does that because there's a whole community of those those sort of people right now making a lot of money and doing a lot of good things by, by keeping them on ice and, and being able to resell them and just like build their money up that way. Yeah, so I, I think a, a great conversation you guys could help us with here would be like, we have these cool shoes, right? And we have this, you know, dress up and feel good when you put the stuff on and enjoy yourself. But then there's also the, the humble side to it. Like, it's, it's not just about show. So how do you find that balance? Where do you make those lines with your own comfort zone? You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, I don't know, I kind of... I just kind of wear what I like regardless of the time, like regardless of whether it suits what, what the occasion is or not. If I feel comfortable in something, I'm going to wear it. And, and there's so many cool brands and so many nice new brands coming out with some really great stuff. So I sort of just nitpick from those, those sort of things. And, and if it feels good to me, I'm going to wear it. I'm not really too concerned with what he or she thinks about it or what it, what it looks like. Regardless, of, I'm always going to be comfort first, but, but with a bit of style on the side. So. If I like it, I like it. I'm not too concerned with what other people think about it. Yeah, and to just piggy off that, um, even though I'm new to the whole fashion trend, in my opinion, rule number one in the fashion is there's no rules. So, you know, you wear whatever you feel is comfortable. And, you know, I think people will kind of notice that. You know, confidence is contagious. And, you know, if you like what you have on and, you know, you're proud of it, you got your little strut, um, people will probably gravitate to it. And I think that's kind of 
why trends happen because you're going against the grain. So, yeah, as long as somebody finds something they're comfortable with, and I say go for it. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, I remember speaking to you about this another time, and it relate really well to, to finish off this discussion and connecting it out. But, uh, you know, the first pair of shoes that you got as a kid, the first pair of J.G. Model or Kobe's or whatever that is, um, just going back to the origin of it for you guys. You know, where did that shoe start? You know, did you grow up playing basketball and borrowing your brother's shoes? Like, is there any of those stories of the comments? Yeah, I would say for me, um, I had an older brother, so anything he liked, then I was like, okay, you like them shoes, I like them too. And uh, for us growing up, obviously he's older than me, so he was part of the whole Jordan era. So anytime Jordans came out, um, he was stoked to try to get a pair if we'd ever could save up or we was lucky enough to get some. Um, and I'd always be happy to get me a pair. Uh, it was harder for my brother. I was a kid, so... My shoes always came a little bit cheaper, so. Um, but for me, I mean, I got the Levens on today. Those are my okay, favorite so Jordans out of all of them. Um, it definitely just takes me back to you know the good old days, and, you know when you wear the brand new kicks first day of school or after school break. You know everybody's asking, "Oh damn, like where did you get those?" So. You know it makes you feel good, and it, it takes me back to uh, I guess memory lane. Yeah. Yeah, for me it was just sort of. It was at what well, used to be Harbour Town is now Watertown the other day. I went with my mum and my brothers at a young age and went up to all the outlets and went to the Converse store, actually got my first pair of Converse basketball shoes. And that was when I really started. I'm still probably having them at home, but they were like these small, probably size five or six then. But like, that was my first real pair of, of shoes that weren't Dunlop volleys from Kmart or something like that. So it was, it was cool to me. That's sort of when it started and, and um, I was always, from then on, into the shoes, I was always back at, I would say, every birthday, I'd ask for a pair, every Christmas, I asked for a pair. So it was kind of just, from then on, it was all systems go. What do you guys got coming up? What are you looking forward to um, in the city of Perth or like for yourself, you're traveling abroad? <clears throat> like I'm only back in Perth for about 12 days. So I just got back from playing in New Zealand and prior to that was playing in Japan. So. I've actually re-signed with the same team I was in Japan with before, so I'm heading back over there next Sunday, which I'm excited to do. So really, all that's going on for me is the same sort of stuff, trying to stay hooked and stay making a living that way as long as I possibly can. That's all I'm trying to do and stay healthy at the same time and just have good experiences while I'm doing it. Yeah, man. Yeah, same with me. Um, obviously, just focusing on you know, getting back to 100% with this rehab. Um, I'm still here in Perth, not going anywhere. Reese didn't tell me he was in town, so, you know, I guess he's been trying to duck and dodge me, but I ran into him, so he stuck with me for the next few days until he take off, so, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be catching up, but other than that, it's the same old same, working out, rehabbing, and enjoying this off this off time, because it doesn't last long, and when the season comes around, it's, you know, it's full-fledged again. The crowd will be back here before you know it. Yeah, arena. I mean, it's <laughs> it's different being in this arena and, you know, it's not even a court in here, but uh, it's cool to be, be in here under different circumstances, you know, so uh, I'm enjoying everything about this day. Cool being in here and not seeing Bryce take 20 shots <laughs> in the stadium, so it's, it's kind of nice just to sort of walk around and not be worrying about that. Just all good. Yeah, I don't want to get used to that. <laughs> yeah, just to wrap it up for, for everyone. From Perth, we appreciate you guys for, for being around here today and showing the love and support for the culture. Um, you know, no one takes that lightly. Like, having that support. So, on behalf of everyone, appreciate you guys' time and for showing love. Oh no, absolutely, man! Thanks for having me on here. And again, shout out to my man Jamal and Thomas, man. They did their thing. So, super shout out to them. I yeah, appreciate you having me, man. It was, it was really awesome. It's real awesome to see this happen, and hopefully, it happens a lot more in the future.